Hello and welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today we're going to learn about grand totals, subtotals, totals, just totals in general. We're going to talk about three important key things that you're going to want to know. Okay, so here's the information. This is incident count. This is uh, police data from San Francisco off the Kegel website. 2007, this is the month. Across the top here is the different police districts. So this represents 1,192 incidents in the month of January. All right. So what I want to understand is I want to know what the average is over the year. So I come up under analysis, drop down to where it says totals, and we're going to say show row uh, column grand totals. All right. So there we go. Well. That's great, but I don't want the grand total. I don't want the total for that for the whole year. I want the average, the monthly average. So what we do is you over here under the, the card where it's got the sum number of, in, of records, open that up. Down below, you see total using. Right now, it's showing as automatic. You do, we want to change it to average. We're going to show it to average. Now this gives us the average of these months, which is what we want. That's item number one, very important. Item number two is how do we change this from grand totals to monthly average? A couple ways to do it. Right click on here, go to format. Okay, it, it was already selected, but under format, formatting the month date, of the day, you come down here, there's a label for both the totals and grand totals. So I'm going to put change this to 2017 monthly average. All right, you can't see that. We'll open that up a little bit. Something to know, you could if you had different categories for totals, well let's just do that real quick. I'm going to bring that over kind of categories. And what I often do is, so here's drugs and alcohol haul, here's the totals. You're going to right click, format. Now it's going to, you have to be careful. So here is totals. You, this totals is going to apply to all the totals. So often what I put down is just change it to subtotals, subtotal. You can see down here now, subtotal. Another thing that I do is under shading, uh, that's formatting all the shading. We want the shading for, uh, here we go, it's over here. I'm gonna change this shading. It makes it a little bit, pops out a little bit easier. That's for the grand, that's for the total or subtotals. And you can change it to a different color for the grand totals. So as we come back over here, oh, that's for the columns, sorry. That's important thing to know, is you gotta make sure you have the right shading. That's true with a lot of stuff in Tableau, is you gotta make sure you've got the right item selected before you start making changes. So now you got, these are highlighted, and if you wanted, you could go over there also and change the, uh, the shading of the font so it's bold or bigger or whatever. And so there's grand totals. All right, so let me pull that off. So those are the three things. It is changing the total dimension. It could be average, sum, min, max. That's one. Two, um, right clicking on the format. If you look up here, you'll see this is the shading. What you need to do is you come to the field, you pick the the row, the row header that you want. And then you'll be available, this label will be available. And then last of all, doing the shading. Three key elements to helping you use grand totals more effectively. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, be sure to subscribe, leave comments and suggestions for future ideas. Thanks again. Bye.